G'day mates, it's the Doctor here, and welcome to what might possibly be my last Banlist reaction for Duel Leaks, because honestly, I'm not a fan of the Arc 5 era at all, but hopefully this Banlist will overhaul the meta for the Arc 5 fans that are getting into Duel Links. So, some of the best decks right now are the Chaos Dragons and Harpies, those are the two best ones by far. Possibly Red Demons, I don't know about that one. Also some of the generic trap cards like Floodgate Trap Hole, Karma Kush, Raigeki Break, Fiendish Chain. They have got to start hitting some trap cards. And the most likely out of a bunch, even though it wouldn't be my personal pick, would be Karma Kush, Because, well, it's a super rare and not an ultra rare, because Konami plays favorites when it comes to rarities with cards. D d even if they're... Uh, the most problematic of the bunch. So, we have a new ban list, and I, I would say that uh, Floodgate is the one that needs to be hit more than any other generic trap card, but uh, let's get into it. And I think um, at some point the skill, um, the Yugi skill, I can't remember, was nerfed to having 2,000 or less life points. Um, but let's take a quick look at skill rebalancing, even though I don't care much. Um, yeah, let's see, Photon. Oh! Oh, wait. They're, oh, they're improving. I was gonna say, did they hit it? But no, it looks like they're buffing it up. So, the skill to make it worthy for the number hunter to use. Oh, on a model play. It's Cyber Style! That's for Cyber Dragons! Ooh! Demon's Resonance and Dragon's Knight's Pub. Oh, yeah, of course, Gaia! How can I forget? Gaia is one of the best decks, so. Uh, cyber style, this skill will be given a harder activation condition. Good! Because that skill is busted. On a lot of play, like, <laughs> the poor uh, Yuma fans, they just can't get a break. But, you know, moving on to the next generation. So, yep, Yuma, you're going to be sidelined for Yuya and all the Pendulum fans. So, Set Delta XL is another one. Endless Trap Hell. Ooh! Wow, they're hitting a lot of great skills. I'm glad I'm looking at this. So, uh, wow, there's so much. Turn three and onward. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, bad for them. Uh, cyber style, 2,000 or below every 1,000 life points. And all day, well, the attack points don't matter. You can only special summon Cyber Dragon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Oh, no! <gasps> that means they can't hit... Or, I mean, they can't summon out uh, Rampage Dragon or Cyber Twin Dragon. Oh my gosh! Demon's Resonance uh, can be used by returning one Resonator monster from a hand to deck. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure what the difference was before. This skill can only be used once per turn, twice per duel. Uh, let's check out Dragon's, Dragon Knight's Path. Eight or more Gaia the Fierce Knight monsters or level 5 Dragon type monsters. Okay, so that's the condition. So, with uh, the TG monsters, which uh, set Delta XL is what the skill is for, I thought they would hit, or specifically ban, Black Rose Dragon, because that combination with that and um, the Antinomy Synchro monster, like, that was, no, that was not on. <laughs> Endless Trap Hell can be used when you have three or more traps in your graveyard, Add a random trap from your hand from your graveyard and return one card from your to your deck from your hand. Oh no! Oh my gosh! So that's a hit to Shiranui's, but well, I guess it also hits my Odeon trap deck. But ouch! Now I've got to return a card from hand to deck. Like oh no! Hero flash. I don't know why this has to be hit. Anyway, wow! A lot of skills got hit. That's that's really good. So. Now on to the uh, ban list, and I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Alright, expected from 13th of October. Here we go. And to one, perform a pal call. Uh, we don't have performer pals. Uh, we are limiting this card, and this will lead to the. Pace of duels becoming sluggish as more performer power cards are introduced to the game. Okay, I don't know what... I'm completely unfamiliar with a lot of the Arc 5 cards, so... Damn, um, Arc 5 won't be able to mess around with this card. Okay, um, Cyberload Fusion, so that's another hit to the Cyber Dragons. Which sucks, because I recently got a third copy in case I want to build Cyber Dragons, but... 
Damn, I didn't think Cyber Dragons would be uh, susceptible to a ban. It's like they've been hit several times, and they're all around, but they want the best deck, so... Oh no, um... None of these seem to hit Harpies or Chaos Dragons. Like I said, those are the two best decks. They gotta hit those. They have Elegant Egotist. Alright, so that's it too. Did they hit another Harpy card? Aloof Lupine. Okay, that's a hit to Chaos Dragons, and I think they have a couple cards on the ban list already. Um, but Harpy Ladies, they just... Mm, they need some big hits. So, limited to three. Ooh, Floodgate Trap Hole. Okay... Uh, no longer on the list. Uh, Amazonist Onslaught, oh boy. Secret Paths to the Treasure? This what we don't know. What? What is this? Okay, I don't know why, so... Yep, um, I'm really glad I looked at the skills this time. <laughs> um... Alright, so... I don't know what this will do to Chaos Dragons with Aloof Lupine at one. Um, oh no, not at two. So, yeah, as we know, the, the ban list in Duel Links is pretty weird. Uh, like, if something has the number two icon, then, yeah, you guys know how it works. Um, so, Elegant Egotist, that's a good hit, but I don't think Harpies used other semi-limited cards. Like, um, obviously they weren't going to hit Cyber Slash Harpy, because that's the card that brings Harpies to uh, the competitive level. That makes them as strong as they are. So, um, oh, that's the pets in the background. Um, yeah, so Cyber Dragons are probably dead for good. Yuma decks are probably dead for good. Uh, let's take a look at those skills again. Uh, so Galaxy will probably be competitive now. Castle of Machines, I don't know what this does. We have strengthening... Is that the Crowler deck? Oh, Mech Lords, okay. Because uh, we'll be getting Aporia at some point. Gaia took a hit as well, that's good. Um, but I don't think there's anything that will make uh, Harpies weakened. Because um, I'm pretty sure, was it Harpy Perfuma that can search Harpy spells and traps? So Harpies are just fine. Like. Will Chaos Dragons be dead after this? I don't know. But uh, that will be the ban list for when we are introduced to the Arc 5 era. And um, I don't know if I'll be playing Duel Links after that because, uh, well, there's, there's also other games that I want to play. <laughs> and I think it's time for me to just put Duel Links to rest. Because um, you know how it is. We just spend more gems only to get cards that will either be hit or outdated, and yeah, so some of the games I don't want to play are like Doom Eternal, Half-Life, uh, Nintendo Switch games, Metroid, Dread, uh, New Pokemon Snap, Shovel Knight, Bayonetta 3, we finally got a trailer to that. <laughs> I hope in the next box we'll, we will get Book of Moon, because that's what I have been saving my gems up for, to hopefully get Book of Moon in a box, and you're never going to put that in a main box like they did with Chaos Dragon Levineer, because, um, yeah, they really got to sell uh, the best cards in the most schemish way they can. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I like it, um, it addressed a lot of the decks, even if they may not like, uh, that Harpies, for the most part, got off unscathed. Um, oh yeah, Forbidden Lance, the one that protects Harpies. So, well not Harpies specifically, you know, like uh, it makes them um, unaffected by spells and traps. So, what do you guys think of the ban list? Did it, do you like it, do you hate it? Uh, let me know in the comments and, um, yep, yeah, until next time, take care mates.